Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and man am I excited to bring this to you guys today. You guys know that I always follow anything that comes out for the Lenovo Legion Go. You'll be the first to hear over here on this channel. So as always, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, helps the algorithm a lot. You know, share it with everybody, you know, make the family grow. You know how we do it, y'all. So definitely subscribe and see all that new video that's coming out. So I got this thing, and I, I wanted to share it with you. Something that I made myself, but then I wanted to see if they had anything out there that actually has it. And lo and behold, we found it. So let's get right to it. Like I told you guys, I made this on a 3D printer and, you know, it didn't look that professional, didn't look that good. I kind of did all kinds of different ones and hello and behold, I find it on Amazon. Now, mind you, bit expensive and I'm going to tell you this, guys, um, you know, on top of it being expensive, uh, you could probably print this, you know, and, you know find this online and print it for a fraction of a cost but if you guys don't have a 3d printer or don't want to go through it you know i actually found it on amazon for about 27 dollars yep a bit expensive and you could see this thing is 3d printed okay so it has striations and everything there now what is this this is a battery holder that's what i wanted i wanted something to hold batteries but of course the ones that i made just worked with the lenovo legion battery which is the one that i did a review for you guys before the only thing i like about it as i told you guys before really quick is that it already has a connected cable that's already in there but even you could use external uh cables as well so USB-C, USB, -C, USB uh, three, uh, you know, A, A 3.0, whatever. So you could get that kind of, you know, charging and fast charging using this uh, beautiful little thing here. But now we're going to look it up and see if we could put this together with my case that I did a review for y'all with everything on there. Okay, so we're going to just do that right here. So we're going to just see if it goes on top. Actually, see, they have the cutouts here, which is pretty cool. Uh, just want to see, I guess it goes on the side here. Um, yeah, I think it goes here somewhere. I don't know. It's so weird. I guess it goes here. I don't know. Or maybe it does go on the bottom. Let us see here. Where does this thing go? Yeah, you know, guys, I don't know the orientation of this, but it doesn't look like it fits at all. So I, huh. Okay. So we're not going to get into and I'm going to pull these out here, this case, and see if it fits with the case. And now we can see if this thing works. Um, I guess the case was just too much. Yeah, the case was too much. So this one locks right in, as you can see. Um, very weird uh, design, though. Ah, I guess because it allows here... And then your uh, memory card slot right there, I guess. I don't know. Depends where you want to put it. But here, here's the thing, though. It blocks the air vent from the side here, which is kind of weird, uh, at least to me. Um, very, very weird design. But uh, I would have probably chose a different way to do this. Let me just see. Oh, here we go. Oh, I guess it covers the... The one that's shut off. So it's not the entire vent here. It's up to here. So, okay, whatever. Does a good clip on, but damn, I, I kind of hate that I had to I have to give up my uh, protection case. I really liked, you know, using it. But anyways, it comes with these Velcros right here with metal, um, metal rings, which is pretty cool. So we're going to just kind of do this and i, I kind of like this design because the one i did uh was strictly for this battery so to have something within you know to be able to do uh that is pretty cool i guess uh let me just see and get this out of here um let's see how this baby works here okay let me just put it down here i was gonna put it in the rings and see if this thing could hold uh, reality here so we're gonna just put those rings down here mm. 
And I guess that's that. I don't know if I'm very, very confident in this because the one that I did uh, turns on differently, but then you just go like this. And I got to tell you, I kind of like having it in the middle because it doesn't really put that much weight in it. But wow. Okay. I'm trying to push it up and and it, it's pretty rough. So um, yeah, I, I'm going to say pretty cool. Uh, pretty good, actually. Wow. I wasn't kind of uh, confident that this thing would actually run well with this but it does a good job there now you could of course wow i can't you really have to squeeze the hell out of it again as tight as you want but you see this way i wouldn't prefer it i would prefer it going middle middle way here so then you have i'm telling you it doesn't feel like there's any weight uh again it depends what battery you guys put in there but you could see the latches right here kind of tie on and you know how long these Velcro strips are going to last, only God knows. But Velcro is really cheap to buy, so I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I just uh, want to see one thing, because I want to let you guys know if it does, in fact, work with... Now, there is something I don't like about this. Um, the fact that it actually doesn't have any sponges... On here I would probably put a sponge or something because here's the thing I have a screen protector on mine so I don't really mind it as much but it actually clips on to this now it doesn't feel like it's that hard because it only goes kind of over it so the clip isn't really causing any issue but you see this they put like uh, um, this rubber part that it, it you know it won't like damage or puncture the battery which is great and all but Kind of weird that they would go with that. Anyways, I'm still working on my own version. So I'm still looking to see if I could perfect it or whatnot. I think I'm probably going to see what I could do with this one. Maybe make a model of that. Uh, let me just put this back in and see if I can make this happen. Uh, oh, of course I did. Put it on wrong. Give me one moment. So yeah, guys, would not fit when you put a case like this on, which is so freaking stupid that they did that. Um, what I would have preferred to see, now if this thing wasn't 3D printed, I'm sure somebody out there, I don't know why they're not making it. What If they could have one of those like they have for the bike phone holders that can, you know, uh, go up and down, attract, uh, what is it, uh, detract, whatever. I would have much preferred that. I love the fact that they have the rubber... Uh, part here and the rubber part here but again the fact that you can't put it on when your case is on is kind of stupid because i think it should have been that way and then also you would be able to use it on the steam deck or something like that uh if you stretch in and uh take away now i know the steam deck has one with a bat with a magnet which i think is a way cooler design than this uh thing right here but again to have a battery holder comes really, really in handy and just really pitiful that you can't use the case on it. So I don't know if I'm even going to use this because I don't like using it without the case. I like the grips on my case. I did a review for you guys and it's uh, so I think I'm just going to 3D print me uh, one. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do a copy of this and just make it bigger. And then I'm going to just strip this, put it on, take these, put it in, and call it a day. But this, if you're not using, you know, this uh, screen protector, uh, sorry, uh, uh, what do you call it, case over here, I would recommend getting it just so you could, uh, you know, to put the battery on. It does a pretty good job in balancing it out. I would think it's great for what it does. Uh, they didn't really advertise it to work with cases, so they were honest. So I can't take it away, uh, you know, take away any points of that. But again, me as a self-made engineer, I engineer a lot of stuff. I would have thought it would have been much better if it, it could go up and down, sort of like a phone battery, phone, I mean, sorry, phone holder on a bike or whatnot. Like if you could go any size you want, that would have been much cooler. I would, you know, 3D print this, make it a tad bigger and see, um, it, you know, see the results on that. But uh, not too shabby. Like, again, if, if you don't have the case, really cool. I highly do recommend it. Uh, $27, I don't think I would pay for something like that when I could 3D print it myself. But if you guys don't have a 3D printer, uh, you know, and all that, I, I would highly suggest getting this just for the sake of that's all we have. Um, so it's pretty cool for now. If anything else comes out that's going to be nicer, obviously I'm going to get that. But right now, 
this is uh, actually I'm actually considering uh, taking my case out even though I love the case because you can you see this the grips on this thing is so amazing with the case on and I still stand by it and that's the one that you could check the review on that uh, I don't know if I'm willing to give it up but part of me says you know what because I'm gaming on the bus I would love to just put that baby on there and uh, just not have to worry about my, you know, because I usually leave it hanging and I'm just like playing on the bus. It could get, you know, screwed up. Uh, one time it actually fell through the holes of the seat. I had to go underneath. It's just such a nuisance to deal with that. I wish they just somehow put a bigger battery on this freaking thing. But, um, you know, unfortunately, that's not the case. And I know they say two hours, but, you know, you're playing Elden Ring. I'll tell you, like within an, less than an hour, I'm already blowing through this battery. So you need an extension battery, and it just feels good to get it. Uh, so I would, you know, probably take off the case and say, you know, so I'm not going to deduct points for that. I'm going to say a 9 out of 10. Uh, I'm deducting a point because of lack of, you know, ingenuity where they should have made it where it goes up and down. And I think they would have made it more universal because then they'd be able to sell it to people even with a Steam Deck. So you could go anywhere from a Steam Deck all the way up to that. In fact, that's what I'm going to work on in my 3D print and see how the heck that works. And if it does, maybe I'll have it as a giveaway. Uh, and, of course, if you guys want, um, I, I don't know, I'll give you the 3D uh, part uh, and you guys could just print it out and call it a day. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you like the content, as always, I buy this all with my own money. Sadly, I bought this with my own money. <laughs> uh, I can't recommend for $27, but, you know, the ease of use. If you're willing to uh, pay the money, you will be happy. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to recommend it either way. Uh, but I am going to say this. Uh, like I always say, I buy everything with my own money. I'm not a paid-for viewer, so I give you guys the absolute truth. So like, subscribe, hit that bell button, share it with everybody you know, make the family grow, comment down below, have a good one y'all, take care, bye, and stay tuned, there's going to be more things coming out later on, and I'm going to make more videos for the Lenovo Go as it goes through, not just updates, not just accessories, but other things that might come along, uh, so anything you guys are looking for, definitely in the comments, shoot it down to me, or in the private message, shoot uh, you know your questions down to me, and I'll do my best to honor uh, that in a video, so anyways, let me know what you guys think, have a good one y'all, take Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.